All right, so here's what I have to work with in here. Ball, cardio, I even have a BOSU. So I've already done my warm up, so I'm about to get started with weights. So it looks like they only have one 20 pound dumbbell, so I might not use it, we'll see. So my plan, I'm gonna go through the exercises. It's a dirty dozen workout, 12 exercises, 12 reps each. And uh, I haven't done it yet, so once I've finished, I'm going to see how many times I can go through it. My plan is to do it for 45 minutes. I've already done my warm-up. Um, I went on the treadmill for a warm-up, so I'm going to go through the exercises. So first one, hands down, feet back, in, feet go nice and wide, and you're going to do a hammer curl. So down, back, hammer curl. So you're hold, staying nice and low in a squat in a hammer curl. So 12 burpee hammer curls. Next one, three squat jumps. Come down, three froggers. So you're going to do that 12 times as well. So exercise number three, feet a little bit wider than hips. Deadlift, squat, stand, and row. Deadlift, squat, stand up, and row. All right, so 12 reps of that. Next one, I'll do sideways. <coughs> Ooh. So, plank jack, pike jump. Plank jack, pike, plank, pike. Okay, so 12 of those. Next exercise, forward lunge, lean forward, and row. So you're not going to do 12 each leg. You're just doing 12 all together. So basically you're counting the rows for that one. So next one, push up, bring your foot forward, clap underneath. Push up, clap, push up, clap, push up, and clap, okay? So you're counting the push-ups, not the lunges. Okay, so next exercise, dumbbells are going to be in front, side lunge, come center, halo around, side lunge, center, halo, side, come center, side, and center. So make sure when you're doing it, when you come to this, when you, even before you do the halo, come center and then bring it up. Okay, so you might need a lighter weight than you normally would. So next exercise is start here, squat, press, and tricep extension. Squat, press, tricep extension. If it's too hard with two dumbbells, grab one, squat, Press and tricep. Squat, press, and tricep. So, number eight, just plain old burpees. 12 reps of that. Next one, this one is going to be 12 per leg. So, I'll kind of go sideways here. So, kneeling on one leg, come up, down, lift the foot. So, you're going from kneeling, not standing all the way, but coming up and squeezing the glutes. Next one is core. You're gonna go, oh, it's on your forearms, by the way. So if you wanna grab a mat, grab a mat. Knee to elbow, drop the hip. Knee to elbow, drop the hip. I'll do it this way too. Knee to elbow, drop that hip. Knee drop. Okay, last one. 12 reps. Jump squat, hands down. Kick the heels up. Jump, kick. Okay, 12 reps of that. So that's all 12 exercises. Good luck. Let me know how many times you can get through it in 45 minutes. Okay, so I almost got through it four times. Um, all but the last two exercises, but I ended up doing them anyways. So I have some modifications for you. 
Um, as I was going through, I changed um, a couple of the exercises because one of them I thought was too hard. Um, plus, there's lots of squat jumps anyways, so I changed it. So, modification for the first exercise, which was a, kind of like a, um, a burpee. I'm trying to find the lighter dumbbells here. So it was a half, it was a um, burpee variation or whatever, and you hold in a squat. And do the hammer curl and jump your feet back. So if you don't want to jump your feet back, you can just stay here and do 12 hammer curls like this. Okay, so there's that variation. So the second exercise was, was three squat, squat jumps and three froggers. So all I did was 12 froggers instead because there's squat jumps later. So just feet back and then jump them up and back. Okay, so 12 of those. So there's that modification. Third exercise I didn't modify. Still uh, deadlift, drop the hips, stand and row. That stayed. Fourth one stayed. Plank jack, pike jump. Uh, forward lunge and row. That one stayed. Um, just make sure though when you're doing it, always look at your feet. Okay, and then row. Because what might happen is if you looking at yourself, if you're looking forward at yourself in the mirror, you're not going to be down as far. You're going to be up a little bit more. So you're going to feel it more in the shoulders, and we want to hit the back for that exercise. Uh, next one I changed because I didn't like it at all when I was doing it. It was the push up, foot in, clap under. So here's what I did instead. So you push up, foot forward, reach up and come down. Push up, lunge, and reach. I like that way better than uh, clapping under the leg. You get more leg action. A little tiny bit of a stretch in there as well. Um, side lunge and halo. I didn't change that. I left it. Squat, press, and tricep. I didn't change that. Um, I just changed the way I did it. Instead of having the dumbbells here, I had them touching like this. So I would come down, press, keeping it together, and behind the head, not that you could see. So down, press, and tricep. This way, the um, your triceps or arms stay in instead of coming out, so I just had them touch. Burpees, didn't change that. Uh, kneeling to standing option is not to hold dumbbells at all, right? So you could just do this instead. And if you do this one, put a mat there because you might bang your knee. So just be gentle as you come down from that. Next one I didn't change and the last one I didn't change. The I didn't change knee to elbow, drop the hip. I didn't change that, I left it. Jump squat, donkey kick, I left that too. So let me know. I found it really hard. Um, you can always modify more, right? You can just stand there and standing bicep curls. There's always a way to modify. So that was my workout for the hotel. And now I am going to stretch.